Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be in the kitchen today, so I thought maybe you want to hang out with me. First, I had to make Bruce's lunch so I can send him off to work. So I made him two bagel ham and cheese lettuce sandwiches. He's got a peanut butter granola bar from Trader Joe's. He loves those, by the way. He's got a orange tangerine. Yes, I peel it for him because sometimes it comes back if you don't. <laughs> and he's got some pistachios. Ah! Ah, he's happy. Pistachios! <laughs> Once you eat one, you can't stop. It's all your fault. He's in a good mood because. Oh, yeah, today is a long weekend. Friday, we get four days off because we give up <laughs> one day. Yeah, on our contract, so we get four days, four day weekend, four days baby, with Brucey, baby. But I don't know about her because you know, jobs, jobs, jobs. <laughs> so bring out her Santa Claus list. Also, I got, <laughs> I got some uh, lettuce from the garden and a green onion. I I cut up there, and uh, so I'm gonna go get this ready for Bruce's work lunch. And I'm going to make my lunch, sit down and have my lunch. I'll show you my lunch when I make it. First, before I have my lunch, I'm going to cook up this turkey rolls. I had two left in the... It's so disgusting. Oh, my God. I'm going to give it to the chickens. The dogs. Well, Sandy will eat it, but Coco won't even eat it. This meat. Oh, I don't know how people eat this turkey. Turkey roll meat. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's disgusting. The chickens will love it. Chickens eat meat. Yes, they do. See what I'm dealing with here? Bruce came in with this before he went to work from the yard. Yeah. Look at the eggs. They're starting to pile. You don't have to put your eggs in the fridge. Only if you wash them. And mine are always so clean, I never wash them. So I get to keep them out, out on the counter. You never have to... Only... Like, you don't have to refrigerate your eggs. Only if you wash them, like I said. Okay, I'm probably going to eat just half of that. And I got a bagel, tomato slices, a Pepsi Zero. And there's about this many Pringles left in the can. I'm going to eat those. can get them out of the pantry so they don't go stale. I'm going to put you on the charger. Then we'll get in the kitchen here. Okay, you guys. So we're going to start to make our meatloaf. I got, what, two pounds of? ground beef there okay I'm gonna do up these three garlics and this onion and we're gonna put that in first Bruce's homemade garlic homegrown homegrown not whole yeah well, homemade I don't know I'm proud of him. This is the stickiest, the stickiest smelling garlic and smelling garlic he's ever grew. Very, very flavorful. Yes. Thank goodness for my little grower. Yeah. Okay, next we're going to do the onion. Take the ends off. Bruce is going to be happy to see this meal. He hasn't had much of a home-cooked meal in the last few days. Because when I get out shopping for stocking up, I get tired. So I'm not going to... I don't feel like coming home to make a homemade meal. You know what I mean? Yeah, 
So this will be a nice change for him to come home to tonight on his last day before the long weekend. Does anybody have any plans? We don't have any plans. We're going, I don't know if he wants to come with me tomorrow, but uh, if he does, he'll come. If not, I'm okay with that because I don't have to rush. I got to bring those sheets back to Giant Tiger. There's no way they were queen size. <laughs> like, they didn't fit on my bed. No, and I have a queen size. But I'm telling you, did I not show you guys the sheet I bought off of Amazon? I'm not sure if I showed you or not. But it cost me like 30 bucks, I think. 30 bucks for one sheet. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. Because this sheet stays on, does not come off at all, does not come loose. I haven't had to fight with it to keep it on. It went on easily. And it even has pockets on the sides of the bed. It has pockets for you to put your phone or whatever you want, or your book, in. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, I don't like a top sheet. I get twisted around in it, and I never really liked a top sheet. So I thought, why buy a whole set of bedding? You know, a whole set if... If I'm, I'm never going to use the top sheet, right? Yeah. I am very happy with these sheets I got off of Amazon. Okay, so. Now, I got a half sleeve of, uh, I'm just doing the old-fashioned way. Uh, meatloaf. <laughs> old, half a sleeve of salted, saltine crackers. I'm going to put them in there. Give them a good crushing. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, I'm not going to put salt. I'm going to put pepper. Because I'm going to try this uh, Oh, I got the wrong one. I'm going to try this. Um, our friend sent us from Trader Joe's. The ketchup flavored flavor. I'm going to try some of that. Yeah. So, instead of adding ketchup or salt, I'm going to put that. And then, we're doing pepper. I like lots of pepper in my... In my cooking. Okay. Granulated garlic. And I'm going to do some onion powder. Even though I put an onion in, I still like to put some of this in too. Wants to come out. I have to take that top off. Keep saying, oh, I'll do it, and I never do. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, my favorite garlic plus. Okay. I don't know if I want one egg or two. I'm going to put two eggs in. Two eggs. Okay. A little sprinkle of, of Worcester sauce. Not a lot. Just a little couple sprinkles in there. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to put some of this new, my new favorite seasoning in. Wood fire garlic. I wanted to put some of that in. Almost forgot. Okay, and uh, a little bit of barbecue sauce. Just 
just a little bit for flavor. Okay. Okay, I have, I'm going to make individual um, meatloaves in case I want to freeze some. Yeah. So I got my little, I got this extra big muffin thing. I use it a lot for different things. We're going to give this a good mix with our hands and get them in the muffin tin. Guess I should get my oven on, eh? I'm going to put it on uh, 375. And you don't want to oh, you don't want to over mix your meat too much. Just get everything mixed in and then put it in your pan. Because if you over overwork your meat, it's not going to be as good. Did you know that? Yeah. So I'm just going to make sure the egg and the cream and the cracker are all mixed in there. I was going to say graham crackers. <laughs> no, it's not graham crackers, Michelle. It's saltines. Yeah. I have the air off. It's been pretty cool. I'm probably going to put it back on, though. It's cooler in the mornings when I go out with the girls. I, I kind of... Uh, I didn't let them out till 8.30 today. And, uh, peanuts seem to be doing okay. Yeah. So I don't know how much. Just gonna plop them in here. And, uh, see how many I get out of here. I don't know if that's too much or not enough. Once I get them evened out, I'll do six. That way, they're all not too big and not too small. They'll be just perfect. If one's too big, I'll move it over. I like making them individual. I don't know why. I like them better than the traditional um, traditional way you make a meatloaf. Yeah. Okay, I think that looks about even. So I'm going to put them in the oven for about 30 minutes and then I'll probably put some ketchup and a little ketchup uh, sauce I make up on top. So I'll see you. We're, while these are in the oven, we're going to go check on the girls and we're going to bring them a treat. You can come with me. I'm going to do three potatoes in the microwave. Nate won't eat the meatloaf. But he might eat some chicken fingers, but he loves baked, uh, he loves a baked potato. But I do mine in the microwave, so we'll do those when it's time for dinner. And I'm going to try to cook a bag of my frozen beans from the garden to see how I haven't tried them out yet. So we'll put these in the microwave when it's almost dinner time. Okay, here we go. I got treats. Girls! Girls! Peanut, where are they all? Okay, let's give you a treat first. Since they're not here. Okay. Give you some meat. Here. Here, Peanut. I guess I should put it on a tray. Yeah, let me grab a tray. 
I'll let Peanut have the treat first. I don't know where they're at. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Oh, my God. Everybody share. Manners. Two eggs today. <laughs> I better leave them there. I'll break them. I'll wait till I go back in. Okay, Jatro gets a big plate. I'm not filming. I don't film a lot because she comes after me. And i got to be careful. So, sorry about your luck. But he is loved. And he loves his home. So, leave him alone. He's not depressed, for cripes sakes. Jatro's enjoying his lettuce. Thank you, buddy. i got to get you some fresh water. Oh, you guys come back? You guys come back? Did you go, did you guys go get butter? They went and got butter. <laughs> Girls, they went and got their sister butter. <laughs> Here's my friend. She sits up with me. Yeah, I got a cucumber. Wanna try it? Okay. Okay. Here, my friend. My pretty girl. Shit. Cucumber. <laughs> oh, you see your tail. You see your... You don't be scared of yourself. Here. Who wants a cucumber? Nobody... Nobody wants the cucumber. Give that cucumber a peck. Yeah. Marshmallow, what are you doing? Oh, boy. Has any, any of you that has chickens, have you ever heard a chicken, like, marshmallow scream like that all the time? Let me know in the comments below. I don't understand her. She's the only one that does it. <laughs> Cindy gave her a little peck. It's okay. Just a little peck. Hey, Cindy. My Cindy girl, she's funny. You had a lot before they all came back. Yes, my girl. You my girl. <laughs> okay, Cindy, leave her alone. Let Marshmallow have some too. Cindy Lou. Let her have some. Oh, they're children. They really are. Come on, Marshmallow. Come on up with us. Peanut, you're getting curly hairs back there. <laughs> go ahead, Peanut. You're getting there. There you go. Oh. Paula Dean, stop. Marshmallow likes the cucumber. Mm -hmm. Marshmallow, leave Peanut alone. Wow, it's never smelled good in here, you guys. I'm gonna check the meatloaf. Okay, guys, for my beans. I don't blanch them. I've seen so many homesteaders that don't blanch their beans anymore, so I thought I'd try it. So I just freeze them. I wash them, let them dry, and freeze them. We're going to see how these turn out. What we think of them. So I got a little water in there and I'm going to boil them for about five minutes and I'm going to drain the water and then toss them around the pan with some butter and stuff. Okay, I'm going to make up my little sauce to put on top of the meatloaf. I got about two tablespoons of brown sugar in there. I'm going to put 
uh, ketchup, probably, uh, I don't know, half a cup to a three-quarter cup. And then I'm going to put some, a little bit of barbecue sauce. My, my left hip, hip is killing me the last few days. I better not be having to get in a bad hip. I already replaced my right hip. Okay, about uh, ta two tablespoons maybe of the barbecue sauce. I'm going to put a little bit of this hot honey in. About uh, two tablespoons of that. I'm just going to give it a stir. With my chicken whisk. <laughs> okay, I gotta go let cocoa out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I drained all the water after five minutes. Well, it was a little more because Coco insisted on not coming in right away. Okay, I'm gonna put my burner back on. And I've got some garlic butter here. You can use regular butter if you want. Or just do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that in there. Along with some little bit of salt. Pepper. Garlic. little bit and some little bit of garlic plus and then once they're cooked I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top Toss them around in the butter for a few minutes. And I noticed just as Wolfie had to get this Parmesan too. She couldn't find the regular stuff she gets too. So I don't feel, I thought I was missing it, but I seen her video and she said they couldn't find it at Costco. I like the real good stuff. But last time, last two times I went, they haven't had it. Oh, look at those beans. We'll see how they taste. I'm just going to let them go for a few minutes while they're going. Let's put our sauce on our... Little meatloaves and put them back in the oven for five minutes. Okay, let's see here. Get a bunch of beans a stir. <laughs> Don't want to burn them. Oh my god, what was that? What was that? Do you guys know what that was? This is not hot, so. What was that? me what that was. I'm confused. You seen it. You heard it. I don't know what that was. Never have that heard seen that happen before. Wow. I don't know what that was about. Okay, I'm just spreading it all evenly on all of them. Oh, that sounds like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm confused what that was. I 
Okay, I'm going to put them back in the oven for five minutes. It's almost dinner. I'm doing a salad tonight, too, because all this freshness from the yard. Oh, yeah. Not too big of a salad, just a perfect amount. And I'm going to put my whole, whole, homemade croutons on top. And my bacon bits aren't, my bacon bits aren't homemade, okay? That's all right. I don't mind, I don't mind these bacon bits. I just gotta get some more at the bulk store. I am gonna put some tomato on there. Little tomatoes from the garden. Oops. Get that one, Coco. Get that tomato. Where did it go? <laughs> I don't know where it went. I'm on the lookout for local meat if there's anybody local on here and know of a place to let me know okay and then we're gonna put some bacon bits on there. Okay. Now. Okay. Let me fix our plates. Put my set, my dressing on in a minute. Let me put my salad away. I still can't find my second bowl. I bought two of the, I bought another one of these and I can't, I thought, I cleaned my car out on the weekend. I thought Nate wanted to, he helped me, and I thought for sure I'd find it in there. And no, I, I don't know where I put the second bowl. That's the best bowl ever. Okay, let's get our plates. I'll do the Pioneer Woman ones today. Okay. Oh, I should take my meatloaf out of the oven. Let it rest. You see how it's doing in there? Oh, I got doggies under my feet. They already ate the chicken. Just gonna put that on broil for a minute. I'm not even going to walk away. I'm going to turn you off for a minute. Okay. I got the timer on, so... I, I never walk away from bro broil. Oh, I, what do I got this, this out for? This is neat. I got uh, lemonade. Okay. I usually don't buy the shredded cheese, but it, that is cheap for $4.44. Okay, Bruce likes when I do his potato too, so I'll do both of ours. Ah, it's hot. Get some butter. Okay. Pay attention, Michelle, and check your, your little meat balls. Okay. so I don't drop it. I 
I love, love butter on my potato. Lots of butter. pepper on that potato. Okay, I'm taking it out for sure. Yeah, baby! Oh, perfect. Smoking! <laughs> it's smoking in there! Okay. I'm not going to heat Bruce's up yet. He'll heat it up when he comes home. I'm going to heat the cheese up on my potato. Uh, Nate will fix his own potato. Just uh, 20 seconds to do it. Fine. We'll put our dressing on. Our salad. I'm going to put some sour cream on that baby. Yes. Okay. I have to find it, of course. I got it, guys. Ton of chives, too. Okay. I'm not going to put Bruce's sour cream on. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna eat in front of you because I I didn't do anything today. I didn't fix my hair. I didn't put any makeup on. I got a rugged old shirt on. Yeah, I'm just Well I could probably give it a taste test right here for you. Okay, let me get the the meatloaf out. Where's my fork? Oh, there it is. Let me get them out. I'll be back. Okay. I'm pretty sure Bruce will want two. There's mine. I'll give it a taste. And my salad. Just give this a taste. A little bit of meat loo, a little bit of potato. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's taste this beans that I did not blanch and I froze. Mm. 
Mm. I would say they're perfect. The only reason I did that is because I've seen a lot of homesteaders do that. They did not blanch their beans and they come out better. Delicious. A salad. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Delicious. I'm gonna go eat. Okay, guys. Uh, it's after nine. I'm just sitting down. I'm going to work on my puzzle. I got this done yesterday. And a lot of this. Anyways, I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to try one of these. A couple of these. Uh, Diane Berries Berries. Diana Berry Berries. And yeah. The girls. The first night. I went out there. They were all in the coop. No fighting. Ah, oh, it was nice. It was so nice. Even Peanut was in there. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, what happened here? I was like, finally, after two weeks of the nonsense. But, you know, you just have to have patience when you have pets. And you're adjusting to a new... A new clan, a new person, new animal into their their uh, flock. Yeah. And then I even I even got to sleep till eight this morning. I went out there; they were all fine. They were all in the run. Nobody was fighting. Mmm. Let me see if I can bite one in half to show you. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to munch on those and work on my puzzle. I didn't get my salsa done. I didn't get any decorating done. But I got a nice roast beef. Not roast beef. A nice meatloaf dinner made. And Bruce will be happy. Yeah. So I'm going to say goodnight. And write in the list in case we uh, go to Costco tomorrow. Because i got to bring my sheets back to Giant Tiger. So. so we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming out. And spending time with me in the kitchen today.